What's going on, everyone? Bye-bye. So, guys, we are chilling in the man cave. It's a beautiful day. I need to clean my truck. So, I'm going to take you guys on a quick trip to my backyard. <laughs> Time to wash my truck because it is fall. So, this is going to be my fall cleaning. Check it out. What I got planned is to vacuum up the truck and then get them washed up. So let's get started, baby. The goal would be to uh, basically vacuum out the truck as best as we can, seats, floor, underneath, and then get it washed and cleaned so that way we can get into the nooks and crannies. I uh, used a high pressure washer. So that way we can get all those nooks and crannies. I'm pretty sure all the guys out there that have kids, you know how your vehicle will get end up. <laughs> when it comes to kids eating in your vehicle, you give them that, that small opportunity to uh, eat in your vehicle. <laughs> and where does it lead you? To an ant farm. <laughs> Just in case anybody is interested to know what I actually use to vacuum out my vehicle is this Armorar. It's a wet and dry vacuum, plus it is a blower. The front end is the suction area for vacuum. And then you can take this hose, disconnect it from here, bring it on out to here, connect inside here, and then you can use it for blowing. So it's a... Uh, wet and dry vacuum cleaner and blower but you know it's not a it's not a car wet and dry vacuum cleaner okay you do have to plug it up to some sort of power source which you know got my fan here to keep keep it cool but uh yeah it works it works excellent give you a quick quick view so what we're gonna do is turn this to this way because this thing does blow air so Actually, I put it on the ground. And it, I wouldn't say it just blows air, it does blow dust. So we're gonna fire her up. So it just blew some dust, you guys can see it, but I've seen it. Nice suction. Nice suction. So what we're gonna do is do the chair right here. I should have did this a long time uh, because my son, he had like chips and stuff. So we got that. We really need to get if we really need to get down to deep we can take this attachment here and get down to deep i could take the tape off i, I put the tape on because i was actually using this thing to like clean out uh vents so i didn't want to hose the the head of well this attachment to actually come loose when i was cleaning out vents so you don't need tape it's just something i was using this thing for but uh yeah for the most part this bad boy works Actually, let me take the attachment off and uh, I'm gonna rock off with probably the small attachment and do this one too. All these attachments are good attachments. All these attachments are good attachments.
sun is down so we can let that marinate for a quick couple of minutes, probably a minute or two, probably two minutes, and then we'll uh, rinse it down. This wraps it up. The side of the truck is clean. Back window. Everything is clean. Again, I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music in the background. Absolutely beautiful. So I was gonna take it to the car wash, but honestly the time to spend to really get top and bottom you're looking at if you go to the car wash you're probably looking at 15 bucks 15 to 20 dollars to actually get it to be clean i say 20 dollars honestly to really get it clean because we really needed to do a nice good deep cleaning you can see how just look look at look at my neighbor's house <laughs> so you can see how wonderful that is just to show you real quick so this is what i use foam can and i do have a video on this and i also use chemical guys strip of shit. <laughs> and uh mcguire's ultimate wash and wax i usually do a pre-rinse deep rinse a foam cannon scrub a dub with the brush and uh with the brush it also includes that mcguire stuff and uh, scrub it down once or twice, rinse down, and uh, you know, you got your dealership shot, baby. I vacuum it out, nice and clean. So, yeah, she's clean, baby. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Peace.